Welcome to another edition of the Nightly Nuge. Ted, uh, who said this? I will do whatever it takes to ensure that Donald Trump is never again near the Oval Office. Our listeners, uh, let that percolate a little bit. I'll tell you who said that to our listeners. It is the chairman of the J6 committee who is supposed to be ensuring that the facts are brought in correctly. They're disseminated correctly and truth and justice wins out. None other than Liz Cheney, who uh, the people in Wyoming just booted her so hard out of the door in uh, Congress in Wyoming. But do you believe, Ted, that the J6 committee can possibly reach a fair conclusion when it's chaired by someone that obviously biased. Let's say the guitar player wanted to do an investigation about January 6th. You know what I do, Keith? I get all those hundreds of thousands of hours of security camera footage and I'd make sure that that was brought in as evidence because guess what? It's evidence. You don't have an investigation and keep out any evidence that doesn't support your foregone conclusion that Liz Cheney, who, by the way, her and her punk ass family are the epitome of the the military industrial congressional complex that that we've been warned about. John F. Kennedy warned us about that. And uh, Eisenhower warned us about that. He did. And many have warned us because every time there's one of these fake wars, the Cheney family enriches themselves and their cronies. She is virtually untrustworthy. She is a bad, horrible, lying, dishonest, trust, untrustworthy human being. So make a note, my friends, on the nightly nude. Whatever Liz Cheney says is 180 degrees opposite of what is true and good for America. And here you go, Liz. I'm on. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that Donald J. Trump gets back into the Oval Office so that we have secure borders, we have reduced violent crime, we have the UN members pay their own way, we have Bangladesh pay for their own pollution, that we get energy dominance again. I, are you kidding me? Everything that Donald Trump did was beneficial for the quality of life and security of America. So all the people that hate Donald Trump, you cause gas to become six bucks a gallon. You cause the invasion through our southern border where the fentanyl is killing your fellow Americans. You who hate Donald Trump, you have blood on your hands, but you're so stupid you don't even see it. So good conservatives will, will circle the wagons and we will join together at HunterNation.org and we will do everything we can to crush the Liz Cheney's and the treasonous industrial military congressional complex that enriches themselves on the dead corpses of US military heroes. Shame on you. I'm going to do everything I can to get Donald J. Trump back in as commander in chief, because then America will be on the right track again, because under the Joe Biden gangster family and the Liz Cheney gangster family, this country is going to hell. And I'm going to do everything I can to stop it. You know what, Ted, let's uh, throw this out there, an open invitation. Let's call it an open challenge for Liz Cheney and or her father, Dick dick to come on with her to field questions i'll throw them out you and her debate them hey let's do this ted because she's going to say they'll be one-sided let's let her staff prepare the questions she comes on and you and her debate her on all these issues from j6 to all the issues that the wyoming voters who know her best repudiated her and kicked her out what do you say you up for that I'm game for anybody. I dare anybody. I challenge anybody to debate me anywhere, anytime about anything because I'm 74 years clean and sober and I actually care about truth, logic, and common sense. Truth, logic, and common sense is the rocket fuel for the real American dream. And truth, logic, and common sense happens to be kryptonite to the left, the Democrats, the rhinos, and the Cheney and Biden gangster families. Bring it on. You know, I had a good friend in Wyoming that said uh, in response to Liz Cheney's comments about President Trump in the Oval Office, 
Good riddance, Ms. Cheney. Well, hey, tomorrow night you're going to be in Forney, Texas. So I encourage all of our nightly news listeners that if you're in or around Forney, Texas, and you don't have your tickets, go to tednugent.com. I think there's some available. If not, um, I think there's some still some opportunity to see Ted tomorrow night in Forney, Texas. Now, tomorrow night, we're going to talk about the nightly nudge. And Ted, I am just so enamored with Chuck Berry. I know you've got some uh, behind the scenes uh, look at Chuck Berry. I want to talk about Chuck Berry tomorrow night, right here on the nightly nudge, where there is absolutely no fake news. 